today's topic is going to be about PLC Open Part 4 integration. Hi, I am Micah Stiedemann. In this video I'm going to give an overview of what PLC Open Part 4 is and explain some of its major components. So first of all, what is PLC Open Part 4? It is a subsection of the PLC Open specification that focuses on coordinated multi-axis motion that takes place in 2D and 3D space. Simply put, the specification outlines how multi-axis systems should be controlled. Why is a specification like this needed? It is needed because it simplifies complex motion systems and allows them to be programmed by using simple function blocks. So what complex motion systems, also known as kinematic systems, are simplified using PLC Open Part 4? There are 2D and 3D gantry systems, H-bots, T-bots, and robotic arms. MotionWorks IC 3.0 supports 2D and 3D gantry systems, and MotionWorks 3.2 supports the HBOT, TBOT, and the Motoman MLX compatible robot arms. These systems are just groups of surfer motors that move together to create motion in 2D or 3D space. These systems are very easy to create using MotionWorks IC3 hardware configuration. In these groups, you can select what mechanism you will be working with, and then you can add the axes into the required areas of the system. Once this configuration is saved, your machine can then be programmed. The group's tree selection is not supported in the MP2600 IEC controller because it's a single axis controller, but it is supported in all the other MP2000 IEC and MP3000 IEC series controllers. PLC Open Part 4 defines four coordinate systems that can be used to control the machine. The first one is the axis coordinate system. This is used when working with a single axis of the machine. There's normally only a positive or a negative direction for this system. The second one is the machine coordinate system. This system revolves around where the base of the machine is located. In the diagram here, the origin is located at the base of this robot arm, and any position that is given relates to the base position. The third is the product or programmer's coordinate system. This system's origin is defined somewhere on the product that is being worked with. The fourth one is known as the world coordinate system. This system is used when multiple machines need to work with each other. This allows machines to pass or move parts to other machines. PLC Open Part 4 also defines three different types of coordinated moves that can be used with any kinematic system. The simplest coordinated move is known as a linear move. This is used to move from one point to another in a straight line. The second coordinated move is known as a circular move. This move follows an arc between two points. The third coordinated move is known as a blended move. This move takes in multiple points and moves the machine to a final position smoothly without stopping at each point. If you're familiar with the PLC Open Part 1 single axis function blocks, you'll feel right at home with the PLC Open Part 4 function blocks. Many of the function blocks that you are used to have their multi axis counterparts such as stop, set position, move absolute, and move relative. For more information on how to use these new function blocks, just check out our how to videos on PLC Open Part 4. MotionWorks IC3 makes it simple to code with multiple different kinematic systems because each system uses the exact same function blocks to become enabled, to move, and to stop. The programmer does not need to know the kinematic equations of the machine to program a move because these equations are already created and are in the controller firmware. When the group is created in the hardware configuration, the required kinematic equations are defined behind the scenes for that group. So the function blocks just have to give overall commands to the group and the controller firmware will handle the rest. The PLC Open Part 4 specification can be downloaded from plcopen.org under the PLC Open Motion Control download section. plcopen.org does ask for your company information so they know who is requesting information on their site, but after this is filled out, the specification can be downloaded and opened. This specification is useful when trying to understand what PLC Open Part 4 can be used for and how the function block should work. Here is a quick video showing an MLX robot arm and a T-Bot that have been programmed using the PLC Open Part 4 function blocks. The MH12 robot arm on the left side is picking up and grouping the pieces off of the two smaller conveyor belts and placing them on the main conveyor belt, while the T-Bot on the right side of the machine is picking up the group pieces off of the main conveyor belt and splitting them up between the two smaller conveyor belts. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of MotionWorks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.